Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Yusuf Shakil and you are watching jQuery tutorial series. In this video, we are going to learn how to get and set attributes using the attribute method. And guys, I'll post the tutorial notes on my website dyclassroom.com and all the code that we are going to write in this video and in this tutorial series, I'll put them in my GitHub repository. The links will be in the video description, so please check that out. And guys, if you find my videos interesting, then please like my videos. And guys, don't forget to subscribe my channel and click on that bell icon so that you will get notified whenever I upload a new video. All right, guys, let's get started. I have opened the project folder in Sublime Text. And inside the project folder, I have created a new file, attribute.html. And I have written the following code. And inside the JS folder, I have created a new file attribute.js, which is this one. And I have included this file inside our HTML file by writing this script tag. And I've also included jQuery, which is also inside the JS folder. And now let us save this file and open it in Chrome. So I'll open the project folder and then I'll open this attribute.html file. And we'll also open the dev tools. So we'll click on view developer and we'll select the dev tools and then we'll switch to console tab and this is empty that means we don't have any error all right now let us go ahead and create an input field inside this html file and we'll set the type of this input field to text and let's say we want to give this input field an id sample dash input so now if we save the file, go back to Chrome and reload, we get an input field and we can write something. Let's say, hello world. All right, now let's say we want to target this using jQuery. And since we have an ID for this input field, so we'll target it by ID. So inside our attribute.js file, we are going to run our jQuery only after the document is ready. So we'll write this. And now we want to target that input field and then we want to use the attribute method that is AWTR attribute method to get and set attributes. So first we want to target this input field by ID. So we'll copy this ID and inside our JS file, We'll target it by writing dollar parenthesis and within double quotes hash because we're targeting it by ID and then the ID. And now we'll call the attribute method. And let's say we want to set a value attribute and we want to set it to hello world. So we'll pass the attribute value and we'll pass the value for that attribute which is hello world. And now if we save the file, go back to Chrome and reload, we can see the value for this input field is now set to hello world. So let's go ahead and change this to something else. Let's say super. So we'll replace this hello world with super. And now if we save the file, go back to Chrome and reload, we get super. So if we inspect this input field, we can see in the elements tab that this input field is now having a value attribute and the value of that attribute is set to super. So if we want to set single attribute, then we call the attribute method and we pass the name of the attribute and the value that we want to set for that attribute. So this is setting single attribute. Now let's say we want to set multiple attributes using the attribute method. So let us go ahead and come in this line. And this time we are going to set multiple attributes. Set single attributes, set multiple attributes. All right. So if we go back to Chrome, and reload the page, we can see 
the value attribute is removed from this input element and we can also see that the text super is also gone. So now let's say we want to set the value attribute and we also want to add the class attribute to this input field. So this time we are going to first target the element and we are targeting it by ID. So we'll write dollar round brackets and within double quotes hash and then the ID which is sample dash input and then we'll call the attribute method and if we want to set multiple attributes then we pass an object and it contains some key value pairs and we want to set the value attribute so our key is value and we are going to set it to let's say hello world so if we save the file go back to chrome and reload we can see this input field is now having a value hello world and we can also see in the elements tab that we have a value attribute added to this input element and its value is set to hello world now let's add a class to this input element so we'll pass class and let's say the class will be awesome so now if we save the file go back to chrome and reload we can see this input element inside this elements tab we can see that it has a class awesome and we have also set the value attribute to hello world so if you want to set multiple attributes then we call the attribute method and we pass an object which contains some key value pairs now let's say we want to get the value of an attribute so our next topic is get value of an attribute so we have already added this input field in our page and then using jquery we are adding attribute value and attribute class to this input field now let's say we want to let's say print the value of this value attribute and the value set for this class attribute so in order to get the value of an attribute we also use the attribute method so we'll target the input element so we'll write dollar round bracket and within double quotes hash sample dash input and then we'll call the attribute method and we'll pass the name of the attribute that we want to get in this case we want to get the class attribute so we'll pass class so now this attribute method is going to return us the value set for this class attribute and we can save that returned value in a variable let's say var class value and now we can append this class value to our page by writing let's say dollar round brackets and within double quotes body so we are targeting the body of the page and we'll append let's say a paragraph and class value and we'll pass the class value so now if we save the file go back to chrome and reload we get class value awesome which is the value set for this class attribute for this input field now let's say we want to also get the value set for this value attribute for this input field so we'll first target the input field using the id then we'll call the attribute method and we'll pass the attribute in this case value and this attribute method will now return us the value set for this value attribute which we can save in a variable let's say value value so now we can append that to the body using the append method 
and we can use the paragraph tag value value let's write class attribute value and let's write value attribute value and then we'll append the value value so now if we save the file go back to chrome and reload we get class attribute value is awesome and value attribute value is hello world all right guys this brings us to the end of this tutorial i'll post the tutorial notes on my website dyclassroom.com and all the code that we are writing in this tutorial series i'll put them in my github repository you will find all the important links in the video description so please check that out and guys if you find my videos interesting then please like my videos and guys please don't forget to subscribe my channel and click on that bell icon so that you will get an update whenever i upload a new video all right guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video and like always stay happy and keep smiling bye